this stuff, I mean, is it good for you? Question mark. But is it working? Yeah. So let's spray the face. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I figured today would be a great opportunity for us to just have a little bit of fun and play around with some makeup. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you my go-to signature, very feminine, that girl, that woman makeup look that I do. It usually does not take very long. That's one of the main things I want to express throughout this video is that sometimes people feel so overwhelmed with makeup. Like, where do I start? I don't have hours to pour into putting on makeup every single day. That is not the reality. It does not have to take very long at all. Once you figure out what works for you, you get your routine down, you find the perfect products to utilize on a regular basis. It'll be so simple and easy for you to actually keep up with your makeup routine and do it every single day so you can feel your absolute best, live your best feminine, that woman life. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I chose today specifically because my skin is not doing its best at all. So I want to show you even if you do not have the best skin or you're not having the best skin day, you can still do your signature makeup look and it can still look really great and amazing. So let's jump right in. First up, moisture is extremely important. So I use the Belief Aqua Balm. I just got a new one. So this is the product. This is so good under my makeup. It has been the best thing that I have found so far to utilize. So moisturize your skin, especially if you have dry skin like I do, or if it's like cooler temperatures, you really wanna make sure that you're not gonna be like dry and flaky and looking really crusty. I also focus on areas that tend to be a little drier. So like around my mouth, here under my nose, the corners of my eyes and then also up here on my temples sometimes it can get pretty dry as well next up you want to go in with some primer and let it set this is the primer i am using currently also i'll make sure that all these makeup products are linked for you guys this is the sephora smooth and blur primer it's okay i don't dislike it but i also don't love it so if you have any primer recommendations, please put them in the comments below. I'm really looking for like a dewy, glowy primer. Um, I'll show you what product I use next that kind of fulfills that for me right now, but I still do want to have a good primer in my routine. So after your primer sits for a little while, it's good to go in and do any color correcting if you need to. I definitely have some discoloration around my mouth. And then here under my eyes as well. So I'll just kind of put the little stick there. I like to use this Live Tinted Crayon. I feel like it works really, really well. And then I'll just blend it with a little foundation brush. And then I'll go over top of that with the e.l.f. product. This is the Halo Liquid Glow Filter. So even if I'm using like a matte foundation, this gives me that glow from within type of look. It's a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury, but honestly, for me personally, I, I like this way better because it's fuller coverage and the price is definitely right. Something I also wanted to touch on was just kind of like my everyday things that stay done that I don't have to necessarily do. So I still want to look really feminine and polished and put together even when I don't have on makeup. And so some of the things that I use in order to accomplish that are false lashes. I have lash extensions that I do at home. So I am like definitely a budget queen when it comes to like beauty maintenance and stuff. So I try to learn to do a lot of things on my own. So I do my own lashes. Um, they're actually drying right now because <laughs> I put on a fresh set before this video. And then also I have my eyebrows microbladed. I get them redone about every two years or so. So at least like my brows are done every single day. Brows frame your face and lashes make you look so much more awake. So even like if I'm going to the gym or something, I'm going out to run errands and I don't want to wear makeup, I still look really put together. I'll pop on a lip gloss and be good to go. Okay, so if you're a simple makeup girly, like honestly, you could kind of stop here as far as your foundation goes. But again, like I was saying, this has not been a great skin day for me. So I have this huge pimple here. It's been like two weeks and I cannot get rid of it. So again, if y'all have any tips, 
please let me know. Um, my skin has been going through some pretty bad transitions lately for a few different reasons. So just trying to realign my skin with how I would like it to look. But for now, I put on a concealer. So this is like a pretty close match to my skin tone concealer that I use to cover up any blemishes. So I just covered that. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. Now, while that sits, I'll be doing some underpainting. This is newer in my routine, um, but I actually watched another YouTuber's video and I just loved the way that her, like you could tell her face looked really contoured and elevated, but I'm like, what exactly is she doing? I don't know, but she did a video and I loved it. So I've started doing some underpainting as well. So I just went in with a brightening concealer. This is Makeup by Mario. And then I have one of these Fenty Beauty sticks in Espresso. Um, this is the match stick. So I'm gonna go in there to do my darker underpainting shade and then up here as well. So that's kind of the only places where I'll do just a little bit of underpainting and blend it all out. So you can see like it's giving me a great chiseled shape to my face. Don't worry if you're like, this is looking a little intense, what's going on? Just blend it out. I prefer to use a sponge, but you can also use a beauty blender if that's better for you. And again, because it's under the skin, you don't have to be super thorough with blending or anything like that. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I have tried so many foundations and I keep coming back to my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It is so good. I don't love the packaging. I feel like it's a little wonky sometimes, but I just do two tiny little dots on my beauty blender. You can also like dot on your hand and put it straight on your face, whichever you prefer. And then I'm just gonna go again, four places on my face and then a little bit more on the corners of my forehead. That's basically it go in and blend that out. So that blends right over the concealer and the darker matchstick that I put on. It covers up the color correction that I did around my mouth. And same thing on the other side. Also for my nose, I don't really put foundation on my nose like I didn't add a dot there I'll just use whatever is left over on my beauty blender and blend that into my nose blend out the forehead now don't forget we still have that concealer sitting but again because it's so close to a skin tone it's kind of hard to notice it so just gently dab that in because I want to cover up that blemish Okay, so my base is pretty much done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes and other places on my face that I wanna brighten on top of my foundation. So I am gonna use that same Makeup by Mario concealer again, but I'm just gonna put a little dot here on the inner part of my eye. Not too much. And then I'm going to go in with a different concealer. This is Born This Way Ethereal Light. It's a little bit darker. And so I'll use that for the rest of my under eye concealer. And notice as well the way that I'm guiding it up to kind of snatch my face to the back. I'll also put just a little bit of Makeup by Mario here on my forehead, a little line down my nose, and a tiny bit above my lip. So those are the parts I'm gonna blend in first because again, just like I did with the concealer to cover my blemish, I want it to sit a little bit. So just like the center portion here under my eyes, I'm gonna blend in some brightness there. Brightness down my nose, being careful not to touch where that blemish was. Now I'll just take whatever's left there and dot it on my chin to kind of make it like a cohesive look all the way down the center of my face. Now we're gonna blend out the concealer. I like to go in with the brush first, just to lay it down where I want it to be and smooth it out a bit. Also, I am like no professional makeup girly, but I've watched a ton of videos. Whenever I get my makeup done, I pay really close attention to products they're using, techniques that they're using, so that I can do the best for my face. So now I'm gonna go back in with that beauty blender. I have like this one that has like the flat side. 
So this flat side here doesn't have any of the darker products on it. And I'm just gonna bring that up and fully blend out that product. So you can see how my face is like already lifting. It makes me look way more awake and it comes together so nicely. And then again, those places where I brightened a bit, I'll just go over them one more time. And next up, we wanna finish up with all of like cream liquid products. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of this orange blush. I like to blush down the angle of my face. And this is updated for me because honestly, from watching my videos, I could see like the way that I was doing my blush before was not exactly the best for me. So this is a better system for me just to get that little line down my face and it goes nicely with the concealer line as well. And now I'll just put a little bit on my nose and a little bit up here where I brightened as well. Okay, so if I was really just doing like a summer vibe, I would probably stop here and let that be my makeup for the day. But I wanna add powder on top because I'm not going for a summer you look and when you add the powder products, it lasts much longer. So first things first, I'm going to set my under eyes with powder. This stuff is so good. It's the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Um, I use the translucent shade. And to apply it, I use one of these little pocket puffs. So I put that on my pocket puff and literally go under, smooth that over. And I'll kind of go down the side of my nose a little bit and all the places that I want to set. You can see, obviously I haven't blended it in, but you can see how much brighter it is for my under eyes and this stuff stays and looks so good all day. And also I feel like applying with this pocket puff is superior because I can get precisely where I want to and I'll just put a little bit like on the tip of my nose, a little bit here and places that I feel like I wanna set really well. But again, that's a translucent powder so I don't use it all over my face. So the first layer is done. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. Spray my whole face. And then I'll just take my Beauty Blender and kind of press that in very gently to make sure it's nice and set well. And now basically you're just gonna do the same thing on top but with powder products. So this is my Juvia's Place blush palette. It has my two favorite blushes for like fall winter. There's the orangey tone that I used and then this like deep pink. So I'm gonna take the orange and again, just that line come down. Sorry if y'all can hear the rain, it's like storming outside. Okay, same thing on this side. Just that line. Learning where to place my blush, huge difference. Next up, we're gonna take bronzer and add some color back to the face. Now this is from Sephora brand as well. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. It is their matte bronzer in the color Ibiza. I wore this um, out the other night. We went on a double date with some friends and my friend was like, oh my gosh, have you been using your gua sha? I'm like, no. I just got a really good bronzer that makes my face look super snatched, which we love. So it adds that good color back in. I'll do some up here as well. And just a little bit here sometimes, depending if I wanna add a little bit of extra. Next up with my bronzer, I'm gonna take a smaller, like fluffy eyeshadow brush and just do my nose. So I literally go down the sides of my nose and then do like a little circle here at the end. And I love to use this brush because it's already perfect for blending things out. And I'll just take a little bit here into the crease area above my brows. 
and that pretty much does it for eyes i don't really do a lot of shadows or anything like that unless i'm trying to like do something special for an event next up we've got brows i know a lot of people use the anastasia beverly hills um, brow pencil but honestly i feel like this one is even better and it's way cheaper this is by l'oreal it's the brow stylist definer and i use it in the color soft black now again my eyebrows are already microbladed so i have a good system to follow also keeping your brows groomed makes a huge difference as well so i just got them waxed last week so they're already in good shape and i just draw along that line and do a few strokes to kind of fill it in I will say like investment wise, as far as beauty routines, microblading has been the best investment that I have made personally. I talk so slow when I do my brows. <laughs> I feel like I have to focus so much, um, but honestly, it's great. Just being able to get up and go, especially before, um, well even now, like I work from home and if I have to hop on meetings and stuff and I haven't done makeup or I'm not doing makeup that day, it's really not a big deal. And when I was teaching, I did not wear makeup to work ever. Um, so again, having my lashes and my brows was really nice. Now making them even is where I struggle. So like this one is off, so I'll just take my nail and a paper towel and kind of etch that out a little bit. And if my brows were not recently waxed or threaded, then I would use concealer to clean them up. But again, this is like my everyday go-to signature look and that's not something I usually do. So I brush through them on the other side and we're pretty much done. So we've added basically the blush again on top as a powder, the darkening bronzer pieces contour again on top as a powder. And now we're just gonna add a little bit of highlighter, which is basically like the powder version of the concealer, but not in all the same places. So the highlighter I'm using is by Sigma. It's in the color Twilight. This was actually gifted to me by a friend. Um, but I just put a little bit here and use that to kind of blend that part together. Not too much on the highlighter because it can get a little bit intense. And then I'll just take some on my finger and rub it down the center of my nose because a lot of that part that I used the concealer on was covered with other product. And then I don't usually do like a little dot here in my eye, but it does look cute, especially if you want to just like jazz up your look a little bit. Take your same highlighter and put it here on those inner corners. Notice like it's not a ton of different products that I'm using. Like my bronzer also doubles as like a crease color for my eyes. My highlighter also is going to double if I wanted to use it for an eyeshadow or like an inner look or like a little inner eye kind of pop. So you don't have to have a ton of things, you just have to make them work for your advantage. Okay, and last up, we have lips, which honestly I feel like brings the whole thing together. So right now on my lips, when I started this, I just had like an overnight lip mask from Laneige. So I'm gonna go in with my liner. This is by Kiss, the Luxury Intense Lip Liner. And I overline just a little bit. So then I'll just rub my lips together to do a slight blending. Next I'll go on with another lip liner. This is by NYX. This is the Line Loud Lip Pencil Crayon in Total Baller. And I'll put that kind of like a second layer, more so going inward. I feel like this is a good nude for me. So sometimes I'll stop there, I'll just do like a little gloss on top, but this Dose of Colors Shayla color is my favorite nude. So I'll put some of that on the center and blend it. And that 
is the face. This did not take long at all. I feel like obviously I was talking so it took me like closer to 20 minutes today but honestly it's a super quick look especially because I don't have to worry about mascara. If I didn't want to I wouldn't have had to do my brows and so having those things done already helps a lot but also finding products that you love, finding products that work for you seals the deal every time. Lastly, let's just set this face because I'm not putting this on for it to all come off. So I like to use where is my lid? Um, I like to use the one size. This is why this is. I like to use the one size until dawn. This stuff, I mean, is it good for you? Question mark. But is it working? Yeah. So let's spray the face. Woo! Don't don't get it in your mouth. I think one. So we are officially done. I'm not gonna keep this makeup on for long. Like honestly, I have not been feeling well this week, but I'm like, I wanna get some content out. I wanna do some filming. So I'm literally gonna hit a couple of videos, maybe a couple of YouTube shorts and then move on with the day. But this makeup would stay on all day and give what it needs to give because I did all the cream stuff underneath, the powder stuff on top. I set with powder and I also set with the spray. Ooh. You almost caught me slipping. The last finishing touch to kind of blend everything together. This is Black Radiance, their pressed powder. The color that I use, I don't see it on here. Hmm, oh, there it is. It's Golden Almond. Um, and this is fine after you set your face or before. I just tap that in, again, for that extra security. But here on the side, to make all of this blend really well, I'll just run it up and down. So everything looks super cohesive. Okay, for real this time, we're done. That is the final makeup look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was so fun to just make like a fun little girly chit chatty video talking about products that I absolutely love and also just a makeup look to hopefully inspire you to get into makeup, play around with makeup a little bit more. I am not a makeup expert and makeup girly. I probably wear makeup three times a week max, but when I do, I wanna make sure that it looks really nice and it matches well with my face. So this is my routine. It definitely makes me feel like that girl, that woman, and I hope it is something that you will give a try. All the products I use will be linked below. Shop through my links. They are affiliate links, which means that I do get commission if you shop through them. So if you don't wanna shop through them, search somewhere else, but I try to link everything up for stores that are super easy access so you can get the products as well. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.